Time now for our weekly feature, which is known as The Adventurer. Kenya's local fashion design and apparel retail market is estimated to have the potential to create around 300,000 jobs for women and youth in the country's creative economy. Even with this, the industry remains largely untapped, save for a few recent interventions by the likes of Kenya's Equity Bank. Kate is Ashley Missouri talked to a recent fashion design graduate to share his experience in this week's edition of The Adventurer. Fashion industry has evolved from traditional attires to urban styles, bringing a new dawn of unorthodox ways of designing. This week on The Adventurer, we feature an entrepreneur who saw a niche in resort wear and made it a business. Uh, 24, a recent design school graduate from Kenyatta University where I pursued my Bachelor of Science, Fashion Design and Marketing. I'm a fashion designer by career definitely. Viewing his first collection in Addis Ababa during the Addis Fashion Week and also having the opportunity to present for Vogue Italia, his garments ranged from 5,000 shillings, but it wasn't always easy. He explains his journey. I realized uh, I have to have my niche when I was in my second year of design school. So I took time off and wanted to really know who I am as a designer because, you know, the first thing you get into fashion school, you're so hard-headed, you think you can make clothes but you can do nothing. So I decided to take time and understand my strength as a designer. Last year is when I realized I have an eye for resort wear and decided to like do resort wear and bridal wear all together. Resort wear is clothes that can relate to cruise wear, clothes that you wear when you're lounging or when you're in resorts like think about Mombasa, think about the Mara, think about Savo, all the resort destinations. The clothes are effortless, minimalistic and clothes that you feel comfortable in. My uh, process of making a garment comes from where I make a mood board. So after all that is where I go ahead and sketch from the inspirations from the mood board. From there I go uh, I source fabrics that are going to bring out the silhouettes well. From there is where we pattern make and drape, do the garments, uh, then there's fittings. From fittings, there's then finishing the garment. Despite getting support from Rijana and equity competition, Arnold faces challenges just like any other startup. 60% of Kenyans rely on second-hand clothing. There's a small percentage that imports clothes and there's the small percentage that's also left for us to like make one-off pieces. So second-hand clothes are one of the biggest issues at the moment for Kenyan fashion designers. It is said that design is thinking made visible. For Arnold, passion, creativity and technique are his perfect ingredients for success. I am Ashley Missouri and this is The Adventure.